What is up YouTube and welcome to this Captain Marvel video. So this is a scheduled post, so I will put a warning up because there may be some reveals about Captain Marvel while I'm on holiday in Spain, but you know what? I don't care. So this is Captain Marvel and really I'm actually very excited for Captain Marvel. I'm kind of sick uh, sick to death of the people criticizing the movie, saying that Brie Larson's not smiling, she hasn't got any emotion. At the end of the day, she looks like she's been brainwashed. So get over it, you nerds. So Captain Marvel, her powers are very curious. Obviously, in the comics, they had a very convoluted explanation. And now, actually, in the new comic, they're trying to update her origin. However, there seems to be a brand new origin in the movie, and it looks really, really cool. And it looks like something which could explain and ha explain a reason why the quantum realm is in the upcoming Captain Marvel movie. So, of course, she got her powers originally from the Psych Magnetron device. But we know that, of course, the Kree in the comics were very interested in the negative zone and the quantum zone as well. The quantum zone giving everyone kind of it's where all the energy comes from in the Marvel Universe, and they were very interested in the powers of a character called Quasar, and they actually created their own version of his quantum bands, which gave him his powers. They created the Nega bands, which drew on the power of the negative zone, being the opposite of everything in the universe, the, the antimatter kind of thing. So, with that in mind, we, of course, had Captain Marvel trapped within the negative zone and swapping places with Rick Jones, the Avenger hanger-on. And, yeah, it's pretty cool that the, that happened and things like that. But the movie version could be drawing upon this in some way. Of course, we see Carol stumble upon a device that explodes and envelops her with en energy, energy, and energy, energy energy but this then actually allows her and it does look like the quantum realm powers the the things that surround her do look incredibly like the quantum realm energy that we see in ant-man and the wasp this is curious because we know that the comic book version of the kree have a big interest in the energy kind of like the negative zone and things like that and the powers of quasar what if here the kree are actually trying to harness the power of of the quantum realm to use in their war against the scrolls so with that in mind it does look like carol will stumble across this actual experiment and this will be an, exp an explosion of quantum energy which then gives her her powers this is probably going to be a lot more focused and a lot better than the thing that ghost had in ant-man and the wasp because obviously she was phasing in and out of time so what if this is some version of the Negabands and this does actually give her powers and then she has to find the Negabands to kind of actually make her kind of powers more stable and then this leads to her being trapped within the quantum realm which would explain why she has been missing for all this time and the reason why the, the pager went through was because she was able during the snap she saw ant-man and then they got out of the quantum realm together and the pager went through that that part is just me speculating that's that's very off the cuff kind of stuff that's not on my script that i have it in front of me but i'd be very curious to see if that is what would happen next and it would explain why the quantum realm is so important to and why ant-man was the first movie to introduce it and it was the last movie to happen before captain marvel because now we have a very very kind of huge interest in the quantum realm because of Ant-Man and the Wasp. So let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think our powers come from the quantum realm? Please do hit that like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.